You're probably wondering, what the fuck, humanoid? What do you mean, hospital stories? Sorry, I had to burp there for a second. You know, me, I wind up in a hospital a lot because of my heart condition and medical condition because of the Marfans. Those who don't know about Marfans, look it up. And I also made a video about it that I do have that. So, growing up with Marfans and having a very shitty heart, weak heart, I tend to go to the hospital a lot for a number of things. I'm used to it. I've gone to the hospital way too many times in my life. It's like a pretty, it's basically a second home, which sucks because hospitals are never fun. But anyways, since it's me, there's always something funny or stupid going on in the hospital when I'm there. Mostly funny because I got some funny stories to tell y'all. And here we go. One time I went to an emergency room because I was suffering from cellulitis of the feet. Not the feet, my legs. Both my legs because like, I somehow got it. I forgot how. It's like I got infected. My legs got infected to elephant size and to the point where I couldn't walk. So I went to an emergency room. So they had to drain my legs. While I was there, for some friends visited me. Wait, before. Well, hold up, back up. Okay, while I was there, in the emergency room, my neighbor was this old lady, I'm guessing around 90 years old. I don't know, I never met her, I never saw her face. But constantly, every five seconds, I would hear, go, hear her say like, Marfa, Marfa, I think the Marfa was the nurse that was dealing with her. Marfa, can I go for a smoke? Marfa, Marfa. And the nurse would be like, no, you cannot go for a smoke, blah, blah, blah. She goes like, okay. Five seconds later, Marfa, Marfa, can I go for a smoke? Me dealing with leg problems here. It gets to be annoying. <laughs> so basically my friends arrived to visit me to see how I'm doing. I'm just waiting for a room because they're waiting to put me into a room because that's how I am because I always get to go into a room in the main hospital. So yeah, we're talking all of a sudden you hear every five seconds, Marfa, Marfa. Can I go outside for a smoke? And finally the nurse goes like, for God's sakes, I think her name was Betsy, some old lady name. She goes like, for fuck, no, she didn't say fuck sakes, for, for Christ's sakes, Betsy, you came to the hospital because you had a heart attack from smoking. No smoking. She goes like, oh, okay. Guess what happened five seconds later? Martha, can I have a smoke? Can I have a smoke? Oh, for fuck's sake, shit. Oh. Another time I was in the hospital, I don't know what I was in there for. Let's just say, you know what? For whatever reasons, I can't remember. I'm gonna tell you stuff that happened in there. I'm not gonna detail them because I can't remember. It just morphed into one after a bunch of times. So yeah, in the morning or afternoon, one of the two, time just passes by in that place. I'm gonna get a snack from the fridge because I'm hungry. So I go to the fridge there's this old lady in front of me. I'm just waiting for her to close the fridge so I can do my thing. Her daughter is right beside her, like 40 years old, taking care of her. Old lady turns around, looks at me and goes like, oh my God, you are the biggest brown man I ever seen. <laughs> the daughter looks at her mom and is like, mom, why? She looks at me like, I'm so sorry, sir. She just drags her mom away. I would have been offended, but that was funny as fuck. You're the biggest brown person I ever seen, shit. I made her day, apparently. Fucking racist shit. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, one time I had a neighbor from hell who went for heart surgery. This was when I went for my heart surgery. Hey, I, yeah, I had heart surgery. I'll tell you the story one day. It was a long and painful process. So yeah, heart, coming out of surgery, blah, blah, blah. I go to my room to recover. It's what you do from heart surgery. You do nothing but recover. My neighbor from hell, he's just got a surgery too. He's got morphine. I don't feel anything because I'm a high on morphine because like, fuck, I don't want to feel anything. Good thing I didn't feel anything. I'm like this unlucky bastard who like, he was maxed out on his morphine and was feeling every goddamn thing. Yelling in the middle of the night. He's like, ah, ah. It's not a funny story. It's just something that happened. But yeah. 
dealing with that. It's like, yeah, he was calling his friends like, buddy, can you find me some fucking hardcore drugs so I don't have to deal with his pain because the nurses won't give me any more drugs. I'm maxed out. But he's yelling his ass off. Nurses are coming in to tell him to calm down, to sleep it off. How the fuck do you sleep off getting your fucking stomach open and getting your heart ripped? Not ripped, like, them trying to fix your heart. How the fuck do you go to sleep from that? If you're, if you, if morphine doesn't help you, how the fuck do you go to sleep? Yeah, but he said, like, go to sleep, go to sleep. Logic doesn't make sense there. He's like yelling his ass off, so finally they had to move him somewhere. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went as I mumbled there. All I know is, like, the next couple of days while recovering, I saw him again. He didn't remember what the fuck he did that night because, like, he was so high up, toked up on morphine, but apparently, it was like, yeah, we became neighbors again. Like, yeah, cause like, yeah, he didn't remember what he did. He was a cool guy after. Never saw him again, but that's how it is in a hospital. You meet people, and they're gone. Another time I was in a hospital ER. Uh, <laughs> oh, the shit that happens to me. It's like I was in the ER waiting. Oh, yeah, I couldn't drink. So I could, they wouldn't give me any water because, like, I forgot why I was in the ER, ER for some reason. So they gave me ice chips to suck on. So I'm sucking on some ice chips because I'm thirsty as a motherfucker. All of a sudden, some other guy shows up. It's like 2 in the morning at that time. And basically, I can tell from the curtains above. There, it's, you, there's curtains everywhere. I can see feet over there, but I see like some cop shoes because you can hear the cop talking in all cop language. Apparently, they busted this guy, and apparently he got a crushed pelvis. I don't know how he got a crushed pelvis, but he was like, kind of like moaning. He was like, oh, can I get some water? It's like, no, you can't. You got a crushed pelvis. I'm just laying there. All of a sudden, he starts talking. He's like, yo, buddy, what are you in here for? I think I said like something to do with medicine or something. I don't remember. Like I said, it all morphed into one. So I tell him what happened to me. He goes like, holy shit, man. Can someone give this guy water? And I go like, nah, I'm only doing ice chips right now. I can't have water. He goes like, really? They can do that? It's like, yeah, just ask for ice chips. He like, goes like, nurse, can I get some ice chips? Like, he goes like, no, you can't. You got a crushed pelvis. Uh... So he starts talking, he's like, so yeah, it's like, they caught me doing a drug deal, bro. I go like, really? As I'm laying in bed, <laughs> and the cop's outside giggling. I can hear the cop outside giggling. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, I got caught doing a drug deal. And we're like, so I don't know how the fuck he got his pelvis crushed, but it happened. It happened. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what else has happened? A bunch of bullshit. Oh, oh, it was like one time I went to get an ultrasound. I think it's an ultrasound. Is it like where you like, they take you downstairs and put like some kind of lotion, not lotion, some kind of gel on your stomach and then put the, some sort of machine on you, like look at you and you can see it on the screen. I think there's an ultrasound. Well, I was waiting for an ultrasound downstairs. There was this old lady in there doing her ultrasound. I don't know, it was like, I think she was a, about 150 years old or something, because like, I don't think she knew where she was. It shouldn't be funny, but I found it funny, because it was kind of funny. Because like, she goes like, ah, help, help, somebody help me. And they're saying like, relax, Bertha. I'm gonna say Bertha, because that's an old lady name. Relax, Bertha, we're almost done. It's like, okay, five seconds later. Help, help. I don't know what it is with old people, that, like not listening, and five seconds later, they do the same shit. But yeah, they finally finished. They took her outside. So they have to wait for an orderly to take her back. So she's laying there. It's like, can someone help me? I need to go back. It's like the nurse said, like, we're waiting for an orderly to take you back. She's like, okay. Five seconds later, somebody help me. I need help. And this is in the morning. I just woke up. I haven't had breakfast because I they won't, they had to fast for this shit. So I'm like... In the morning, not a morning person pissed off from hearing from this and hungry as fuck. <laughs> so basically, every like she's going like, ah, somebody help me. Nurses keep on saying the same thing. She just wouldn't stop. Finally, an orderly came by and finally took her. I go like, thank fucking God. Jeebus. But yeah, those are a few of the things that happened. Bleh, mumbling shit. 
those are a few of the things that happened to me during hospital stays. I, there's some more, but I can't think of any more. But if I do think of some more, I'll do another video. Anyways, take it easy, Human Nation. Bye.